you hi. All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for your late night AEW All Out 2021 review. The AEW's WrestleMania, or basically their Starcade, because how do you say compare to WWE Bear? This is apparently their WrestleMania. I know all the smarks, they're gonna fucking jizz, and they're gonna fucking say this show was better than SummerSlam, blah blah blah, because. Oh my god! Oh my god! Adam Cole! Adam Cole! And fucking Daniel Bryan is on that show now. Man, oh, Vince McMahon is feared, man. WWE's dead. WWE, RIP WWE. Listen. WWE does suck, and if anything, it's dead because it's fucking. because of themselves. Because they fucking suck. But to act like AEW is this great alternative, like that's fucking, they're, they're apparently better. When literally it's either more of the same shit, but more indie-fied and more gayer for fuck's sakes. Because fucking, look at the, how they ended the show, or close to ending the show. They're ending the show with fucking these grown-ass men kissing each other. But apparently that's fucking wrestling, man. That's wrestling, but yeah, that's wrestling. I don't know what to fucking tell you. So this show, very fucking overrated by fans. This show was not good. I was struggling to fucking stay up. Thankfully, I don't know. Like, it was very. It was like a chore, and this show was even very long too. Like fuck, I thought <coughs> <coughs> people complain about fucking raw being three hours and shit. The show, I mean, I understand it's a pay-per-view, but this is like, was over fucking three hours. Like, for a pay-per-view. I mean, WrestleMania, I get it. It's supposed to be, I guess, like, four hours or whatever, even though, like, WrestleMania this year has been three for each night or whatever the fuck. Like, why does that have to be so fucking long and boring? Why does that end before fucking 12? Why not just end, I don't know, if you want to really start this supposed WrestleMania... Just start at 7 and end at 11. I don't fucking know. But whatever. It is what it is. Okay. This show was... A lot of boring shit happened. Very overrated of a show. Uh, by Smarks. The show was not good. Okay. Very boring shit. Was it like the worst show I ever seen? Not really. But come on here. It just... Fuck. And plus, these matches were so long and boring. I mean, actually, I, I know, I think about thinking about it, I'm sorry. No, this show actually was really fucking bad. No, it was. It was literally a four-hour dynamite. And these matches were so long and boring. A lot of matches had no story, no actual good characters, and just fuck all bullshit. All right? Grab your Coca-Cola, drink my new seat there. Oh, shit, oh, shit, cheers. Good stuff, ladies and gentlemen. It makes me want to fuck bitches. A big black cat makes me just go, shit, oh shit. Just giving it to them. You know, that's how you used to do some chicks to be in your big black couch. But this show, you won't. Uh, the fucking fans, there's no way that these fans make bitches go, oh shit, oh shit. Because for God's sake, all these fans are these fucking fat, neck bearded mongoloids. So I was watching this on a stream, and my God, I, I couldn't believe how. These fucking weirdo fans are. I was like watching this stream. Uh, something called Strikeforce.net or something. Stri or wherever it is. Fucking Strike and something like that. It's a website. So in case you guys wonder how I watch it and how you guys can watch it. But, uh, you know, but I thought we're supposed to support AEW, man. There's no way I'm supporting this fucking shit when it's a fucking shit company. Literally. Fucking, but again, like these are the same fans that they claim that fucking they want to support AEW, but they're gonna watch in the streaming site. These fans are so gay, literally. These fans are, are they just like stupid shit. During the end of main event, they were talking about Kenny Omega's ass or Christian's ass, how it's how it's not big. They were talking about fucking Kenny Omega. like, oh my god, fuck it. Just uh, wrestle without no pants, Kenny. I want to see some balls. That's the, like, literally how these fans are. 
No joke, I'm not kidding. Fucking, like, uh, they were talking about R.B. Edwards, who was the ref female referee, who's, by the way, very disgusting and looks like a fucking man. They were talking about how she looks so hot with, with a glove. They're focusing on a glove. These, these fans are fucking horseshit, I tell you. So, all out or more like all fucking shit, okay? Seriously. It's just all fucking garbage, I tell you. Um, so let's talk about the fucking show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on a second, ladies and gentlemen. So this show was really fucking bad. It was not good at all. Um, so, so the show started, well, the buy-in, I'm sorry, I have to talk about the buy-in, the pre-show, that's how we gonna call the fucking buy-in. <coughs> so the buy-in, which is their stupid pre-show, Team Best Friends and Jurassic Express defeats the Hardy Family Office, that's how they're calling it, apparently that's what HFO means, in a 10-man tag match. The Butcher returned and helped HFO take out old Orange Cassidy. Then Jack Evans was about to cut off Orange Cassidy hair until Jurassic Express, Varsity Blondes, Dante Martin, and the members and the members of the Dark Order run run uh, to stop them. And it's like, what the fuck is this, you know? So, <coughs> <coughs> um, it was shit. Oh god, this looks gay, really. This looks gay. I don't know if I can show, see it, but you just see like that fucking black guy. I don't know, what's the name? Scorpio Sky? Okay, so the buy-in. Dan Lambert brought jo George Dwasadawa. I don't know, basically some MMA guys. Dan Lambert brought in Ethan Page and Scorpio Sky to join them. And they're like, you know, you brought these like UFC guys, apparently. We're going to bring in two faggots. And... To join them. Damber laughed that Sky has joined the a uh, five year session with AEW and blah blah blah. Then I fo so uh, so Scorpio Sky's being w uh, whatever. He's basically gay. I don't know. All out kicks off with Miro versus fucking Eddie Kingston. So the first match Miro defeated Eddie Kingston. The I'm I'm telling you, these matches were so long and boring. They felt like they were going on. And this match of Blue was 13 minutes. And it was so fucking boring. It lasted like... It, it, it's like it lasted long. So, I couldn't get into the match. Plus, I don't even give a fuck about Eddie Kingston. I think the guy's a fucking goofball. So, the match did end with, like, a pinfall. Miro fucking... Like, there was some fucking exposed turnbuckle. Apparently said that was bullshit or something. Some of the fans were saying that. Then fucking Eddie Kingston was going to fucking cause, like, a DQ or... But then fucking Miro did uh, did a low blow when the referee wasn't seeing. And he did the stupid kick. Um, I'm glad Miro won. So, I guess that's all I have to really say. But the match was pretty fucking boring. Then the second match of the official show, Tron Moxley defeats Satasashi Kajamoa. Uh, whoever the fuck that is. No, people pretend to give a f Again, it's this... Oh, it's that Japanese wrestling legend, guys. He's a Japanese legend. Yet, none of these guys who are saying he's a legend don't know who the fuck he is. And again, this is a problem. This is supposed to be your WrestleMania. And we're supposed to pretend to care about some Japanese guy that no one knows or gives a fuck about. This is literally no different than Big Show versus Ake Bono. And you know what? Uh, fucking Ake Bono is a better... I, I know him more than fucking this guy. The only reason why I know Ake Bono is apparently, yeah, the guy has a fucking, like... He actually, if anything, he is a legend. And for God's sake, I knew him because he was an Irish of Japan in the 21st century jet battle. Ole Kazim. I actually was a big fan of Irish of Japan. I used to watch a Food Never, blah, blah, blah. And I remember he was the judge and with Bobby Flay versus Masaharu Muyamoto. Masaharu Muyamoto is a more legend than fucking this guy. Okay? Fuck. Ay, ay, ay. 
And this match, oh, dude, this match was so good, guys. Like, shut the fuck up. You don't, like, how the fuck you'd get into this match when no one knows who the fuck these guys are? Besides fucking Ambrose. But then, oh, M M Monori Shoshuki or something. I don't fucking know. Some other Japanese guy who people pretend to give a fuck about said, you know, he's gonna kill Moxley. Like, apparently we're supposed to pretend to care about this guy, another Japanese guy, but, oh, he would, you would not say, I don't give a fuck. The guy's a Japanese fat fuck. Fuck him. Oh, Samurai! Oh, Ayaka! Oh, my, my, like, motherfucker, go fuck yourself. Okay? Seriously, and you motherfuckers that like to pretend like you- Y'all just fucking fat neckbeard mongoloids. Y'all just fucking smelly. Okay, y'all pass your- pass- Y'all fucking die with your own fucking disgusting breath. Seriously. Fuck you. Um... Third match. Britt Baker defeats, uh... Chris Danlander. This match was long, too. The only, uh, like, thing you can enjoy about this match is just they're looking at their bodies, I would say. I'm not gonna lie, fucking Chris Dammler does have a nice ass, whatever. They're both actually are. I will say this. Even though AEW has some trannies, and they have some disgust, I don't know what the fuck they have. At least they do have some ch cute chicks. You know, they could be in by my big black couch, so I'll give it that. Just the problem is... They're not doing it hot shit. And this is a show that's actually TV 14. Where's the hotness? I don't fucking know. But whatever. No one gives a shit about this goddamn wrestling. Then the Lucha Brothers get a special entrance. And the, the next match, I believe this was the fourth match. The Lucha Brothers defeats the Young Bucks in a steel cage match for the tag titles. This wasn't the worst match. But here's the thing. This is being really overrated by Smarks because this, first of all, this match was so long. And not just that. Here's the problem, too. This match included some corny shit. So, I, here's what I'll explain. So, there was a, uh, a dumb tack boot, which I have no problem of. Okay, sure. You want to make this more bloody? Fine, I have no problem. But then there's always false finishes. It's not, you know. But then... They literally took the time to go, literally do some corny shit where, oh, you're going to do this move, then I'm going to do this move. Basically, they, they did the each other's moves. Like, they all did chops to each other. They all did super kicks to each other without falling. It was so corny. But apparently, this is, Vince McMahon is going to be scared of this match. Apparently, WWE should be fearful of this match. This was the greatest cage match you've ever seen. Literally, again, there are more exciting tag team cage matches than this and that are more quicker and more exciting this match was for the most part like i didn't i couldn't really get into it like besides i guess a few moments it wasn't the worst match i've seen but come on here this match was so overrated this match was so like had some boring shit and it was literally fucking corny think about it you know what i wouldn't even say yeah actually think about it maybe i should say that this match was not that good as people are saying it is because literally doing corny shit is not fun it's so, it's an insult of my intelligence. And then also, it's an insult of my intelligence. It's like Pen, that Pentagon guy. He's like, he's looking at his fucking partner who's gonna do the cross body, but instead of moving out the way, but the guy's in front. He's gonna fucking take the move. It makes no sense. It's retarded. Okay? It's really retarded. I'm sorry. It makes no sense in terms of rank psychology, like you pretend, you smart pretend to just care about. So, fuck that. Fifth match. Ruby Soho, a.k.a. Ruby Riot, who makes her debut. Yeah, that's a big debut, apparently. Yeah, all these debuts is going to kill WWE, guys. Who gives a fuck? Who gives a fuck about this disgusting fucking tattooed bitch? Okay, seriously. Who gives a fuck along with her stupid feminazi boycott? Okay? She last uh, eliminated Thunder Rosa. I don't care about Thunder Rosa. The only thing I care about this match was Anna Jay's ass. Their fat ass. And maybe fucking also the Ita Conti. Like the only two chicks that actually look remotely like women. But fuck that. Let's have fucking these disgusting, bitchy, she hulky Or just fucking just disgusting feminazi cunts with win. Or... And we're supposed to be care about, care about Ruby Riot. Where the fuck? Who gives a shit? Fuck you, you're garbage. Uh, s 
sixth match, Jericho defeated MJ by submission. If he lost, he would have fucking had to retire. He originally lost, but then the ref, cause the referee didn't see of his foot on the rope. But then they reversed the decision that they're gonna have the match continue. This match was I couldn't really give a fuck about this match. I just couldn't, cause especially with how the show was so long and boring, I just like okay, I need to take a break. And it would have been really sad if fucking Jericho just like freaking retired on this show. So I'm happy he didn't retire. But this match was shit. I'm sorry. I like Jericho. I don't give a fuck about MJF. He's garbage. Everybody's fucking garbage. If anything, Jericho should retire to a guy who's actually a fucking a better... I don't know. Just a, who actually can entertain. Not some fucking Miz wannabe. Apparently he's a better Miz than the Miz. Fuck off. Okay, seriously. Seven match. So the biggest match of tonight. Which sadly, I don't know, it, there's no real build, but this was the the match that people had to see for some reason. So, actually, I think I missed some things. I had I missed some fucking things. Um, oh yeah, fucking Andrade, fucking, what was it, Andrade, uh, what did Andrade, Andrade cut like a promo, but like, I thought fucking Chavo Guerrero was supposed to be his promo guy, but then fucking like, you know, uh, I fly, you rest, or whatever. Like, he was cutting shit promo. Apparently this match is going to happen because Pac got fucking travel issues. Like, what a retard. So this so this match is going to happen at Rampage. And then fucking this guy's talking, this guy can't talk for shit. I thought, what's the point for having Chavo Guerrero to still talk by himself? Guy's garbage. I, you pay, I pay, we wrestle. Uh, I'm the athlete. Like you, you, you're garbage, bro. And you're fucking a tranny. So you're gay. All right, the seven match. CM Punk defeats Darby Allen. This match was so boring. This match. God damn it! This was the. That match was the most. Fucking shit fest of a match I've seen. It was slowly paced, doing their gay technical chain wrestling crap. Smarts decided to chant, this is awesome, just because fucking Darby Allen did some flips. But literally, Punk was so slow. I get it, the guy is old. I get it. But seriously, if he's not gonna fucking... It also is an assault my intelligence when this guy lost in UFC and lost in like two minutes each fucking fight. And he's fucking having a competitive match with fucking Darby Allen. And also uh, this guy who's a twink. And he's like out wrestling CM Punk. Are you fucking kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? Seriously. And Lady Punk, the only move he did was literally the GTS, which is sadly the only move he can do and the only lifting move. And he did that two times. He did like one time and the guy fucking ran out of the ring. Then some stupid gay flips, which the only reason why Sparks said this was awesome or whatever. Yeah, this match was pretty bad. I'm sorry. It was bad. For CM Punk's return match, the guy can't actually go. He can't. I get it, he's old. And listen, this is coming from a guy who liked Punk. I actually don't I actually don't hate Punk, but my god, this guy's overrated and this match honestly, you know what? You probably are better off not coming back to AEW. Or you're fucking you know what? Just do it in commentary. I don't fucking know. Maybe you just should just do something else in in the ring. You should be honestly he has it is not that bad of a commentator. He might as well be on commentary. That's being honest here. It's not trying to hate for the sake of hating. It's literally the fucking truth here. This match was slow. But honestly, Smart should pretend to say this match was good because it's their precious Punk. And Punk was like wearing long tights, whatever. I don't give a shit, but like, you got Smart saying, Oh my god, I wish he was there wearing short pants. Like what, y'all want to jerk off or something? Damn, we're cut up. But, okay, so yeah, that's, that's basically what happened. Um... Big Show defeated QT Marshall. Sadly, this match wasn't, uh... I mean, not, like, what was I supposed to say? Actually, there's nothing bad about this match. This is, I mean, it should have been more shorter. I'm glad that Big Show won. I'm glad that this match wasn't too long itself because it was just a waste of time. I mean, just so many 
boring ass long matches, but hey, I'm actually glad this was like a sort of short match. You know, you could say this was a cooling down match, but there's nothing to cool down. Everything was just fucking just. Is it over yet? You know what I mean? And the main event Kenny Omega defeated Christian Cage by. Um, well, not. He just basically defeated him to retain the AEW world title. I mean, it's kind of fucking obvious because they were not obviously doing. Because what? They had Ori Christian won. And they're not going to like have him win the fucking main title. They're going to give him the fucking impact title because it's not even that big, you know? And they're going to probably have fucking Kenny Omega hold the title for so long and probably have him lose to one of the gay a, a elite dudes, you know what I mean? Because they're probably a little gay ascension probably, you know what I mean? They're going to act like, oh, it's a fucking Adam Cole gay gay, whatever. Like, we'll see what happens, I guess. I don't fucking know. Oh, yeah, what's announced for Dynamite? Re Ruby Soho makes her Dynamite debut to Butcher vs. Chuck Taylor. Malachi Black vs. Dustin Rhodes. And John Moxley vs. Morono Sakasha. Oh, what the fuck? And Rampage. That's gonna be Dino fucking. The Andrade vs. Uh, Pot guy. I don't fucking know. And yeah, Christian defeat. Christian loses to fucking Kenny Omega to like a. A top rope. Fallen Angel, whatever. Um, there was like only one cool thing that happened. It was like a spear through the table. Um, that's all I really was intrigued of. But then he got false finishes, Edge, like fucking Christian doing spears, and then fucking Kenny Mega kicking out, which was like really that could have been like the spears he did, like two spears that could have like ended the match, but they didn't. Oh, Kenny Omega kicked out of the fucking kill switch, blah, blah, blah. You had the Gallows and Anderson coming out, then blah, blah, blah. And that's how you end this show, like, just basically Christian getting distracted, blah, blah, blah. Um, but then, after the match, the Young Bucks came out. They all attacked Christian, but then the Jurassic Express people came out. And then, oh! Could it be some big return? Oh yeah, fuck you got Kenny Omega by the way having blue hair now. And then also not just that, him freaking saying, Did I do that? He's trying to quote Steve Urkel for some reason. Really why? Why are you trying to lose Steve Urkel? And then fucking Oh my god, I'm cold gay! Oh my god! Everyone's happy to see Adam Cold. They thought, oh, because they made references like, oh, no, nobody per in, uh, who's retired or like or even dead could defeat me, or they're all dead. And then fucking I'm called gay, gay. apparently because they killed him in the Indies. He's back, but oh, he kicked fucking Jungle Boy, and uh, he's part of the elite again. Blah blah blah. And then uh, ah, oh, see that can't end the show, right? Then Daniel Bryan would debut. Oh, how do you say Daniel Bryan? It's Brian Danielson. That's his slave name. So, Daniel Bryan or Brian Danielson made his debut in, in fucking AEW. He was supposed to be, I guess, like debut in some fucking New York show, but they moved up the date, so whatever. So he's in AEW, and apparently Adam Cole and... Daniel Bryan are bigger returns or bigger debuts. They're apparently bigger draws than Cena and Lesnar. That's apparently a bigger fucking attraction than fucking Brock Lesnar returning and John Cena being at SummerSlam. Apparently that's bigger. That's a bigger way to end fucking SummerSlam. I mean that's SummerSlam. Yeah, okay. Fuck AEW. Fucking this. You know, good. They deserve to be there. That's where they belong. Fucking Adam Cole, gay, gay. And fucking that fucking flying goofball fucking goat deserves to be there. Where he can just do all the stupid kicks he wants. Where everybody just does kicks. So good. That's where they deserve to be at. I'm happy they're there. Because so they wouldn't be there to ru ruin fucking WWE. I mean, don't worry. Like, don't get me wrong. WWE's dead. But at least fucking all these indie guys would be where the indies 
where they could be indie instead of fucking killing wrestling because those are the same guys that have been killing WWE. Maybe WWE will actually get better. Don't I'm not saying WWE will get better in in terms of how it used to be back in the day, but maybe it'll be more watchable. But that's a very hard like uh, if they're really gonna be watchable. Because let's be honest here. Obviously, they they still got shit creative. So, but let's be honest here. To say that AEW is better than WWE is fucking literally an oxymoron kind of excuse. Because literally, AEW is more of the same shit that WWE is, but just is more indie. Okay? And it's just literally about great matches with no stories and characters. And all these matches are just filled with kicks and flips. No actual stories and shit, okay? Anyways, so that's AEW for you. I'm glad it's... It, it was so boring... To act like this is better, this is the great show, is really retarded. Okay? Yeah, oh yeah, long, boring matches with no stories or whatever. Yeah, those are, that's wrestling for you. Wrestling is back, guys. Wrestling is back, it's... Yeah, whatever. Just fucking wrestling is dead. And even more gear. Yeah, we get, let's see, Adam Cole getting kissed by fucking the Young Bucks and shit. It's, I'm telling you, everyone's fucking gay. Fuck this wrestling shit, and all you fucking faggots are gay for liking this crap, and like Adam Cole, gay, gay. So yeah, fuck AEW, and yeah, it was all fucking garbage. Till next time, peace, yeah, bye, drink your whole segment, then you get shit, alright. Peace, yeah, bye. And fuck Daniel Bryan, fuck all these indie guys, seriously.